Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to work with images in React Native. On line 4 you can see I've got my command that I used to create this uh, app and if you wanted to follow along you can run that command first to create your app. I'm using the image component which I've imported from React Native. I'm going to set accessible to true and the accessibility label as well. The accessibility label is what's going to be read out when the screen reader is um, reading out an app. Uh, so this helps you be inclusive in your design. And um, it's not currently a require for the requirement for the app stores, but I wouldn't be surprised if that was something that changes in the future. Um, so it's good uh, future proofing and just generally making your app available to more people with minimal effort if you include an accessibility label. So I've got an image that I'm pulling from a file that's included in my app in the assets folder. I'm going to create a style here that I'm going to apply to the image. There are a few different ways that you can um, there's a few different ways that you can actually go ahead and uh, get a source for your image. Um, one of them is require. You can also use like the base64 image and you can also pull directly from a URL. I'm going to show you pulling directly from a URL soon but first I'm just going to show you on load. This is basically called when the image loads and it provides things like the props for the um, image and if you're wanting to do something particular on load, maybe like an animation or something, then you could do that here. So you can see a few different settings there that are my props. I've got accessible true in the default resize mode of, co re um, of cover. You can see that's a rectangle image. It's 200 by 300 pixels and this one here I'm going to actually make a um, square image and I'm actually going to specify the image to height and width directly as props against the image. So that you, you have the option of doing it either as a style or as props. For this one I'm just not going to include accessibility just for simplicity and I'm going to use the source of a URI and I'll just have a link to a image on the web that I can use. So default uh, resize mode is cover. You can see that my images are covering that um, area and the rectangle one is like centered. Um, there's also a resize mode of contain and what that's going to do is it's basically going to put the image at its correct aspect ratio, but within the bounds of that uh, component. So you can see that square image is now square instead of a rectangle as it was when it was cover. So I'm going to show you cover again now. The um, second image, which is a square, didn't change because it was already a square. I'm also going to show you stretch. Stretch is basically going to make the whole image fit, but it's going to change that aspect ratio. So you can see that that um, my full image in the image one is there, but it's sort of aspect ratio has changed. Finally, showing you repeat. Where the image is bigger, it's not going to repeat, but it's going to start in the top left corner, so it's different centering. For the second image, you can see it's repeating based on the like size of it. And finally, center. Center will just center it inside and not resize it. It won't do any scaling to it. So you can see the second image is smaller than it had previously been. The first image is the same because it's filling up that space to the maximum of its ability, but it's centered in that space. Finally, I'm going to show you blur radius. This is something that could be useful if you don't want your, like, image to be fully visible. Maybe it's like behind a paywall or something like that. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please like and subscribe for more content or my code will be available on GitHub.